All right, so I'm planning on doing another uh, pre-order run of the GC Duel. Uh, Dan, Citrus 3000 PSI, has decided to not sell them anymore, and he gave me the go-ahead to sell some more. But I have been holding out for um, Laser Bear or Greg Collins, Calling All's new GameCube fan kit with a 50 millimeter fan that he found, and he's actually upgraded his, or updated, I should say, his uh, 3D printed plastics. Um, I believe this is all just uh, for efficiency reasons. Um, it's now a two-piece bolted together part. And I think it was just a, a better way to print them and put them together. And the fan does have the proper plug end for a GameCube. So no adapter harness required, which is nice. And the box said something about blades are UV active. So it's possible we could uh, backlight these and put on a little show for the fan, which unfortunately is on the side. I don't know how much you would actually, or how often or how much you would see of it. But I wanted to get some, maybe some close up of the um, original fan. That's why I grabbed this one. Because I don't remember, it seems like I've done a video about this, how loud it was. But I want to try to get a comparison with the new noise blocker, noise blocker uh, XS1. So, and I believe this one might actually still be uh, the fan might be compatible with the old prints. I think it's pretty much just the same footprint inside there for both old and new um, prints. So I'm going to turn turn this on and let it sit for a couple seconds, and then I might take it up closer to the camera microphone. As you can see, it's actually a working GameCube, sort of. If I bring it up about arm height to the camera, it's about uh, maybe eight inches away. That's how loud it is now. So I will take it apart and put in the new fan, and we'll see how, how much quieter it is. So to take it apart, there's uh, four security bits on the bottom. And then the top will lift off. Oh yeah, this one is rough shape. Even the PCB got broken. Wow. Oh, that's funny. It worked at all. That's the, uh, oh, that's the reset switch. Hmm. It looks like uh, one of the two pieces for the lid switch is broken also. However, this will show you just how easy it is to replace the fan and the piece. And unhook the power, red and black, coming from the GameCube. Work it out of the side there. And then your number two screws right here. Ugh. I would say you probably want to clean it if it's this dirty. Man, that's bad. Alright, so now you can unscrew this one screw. My number one screwdriver works on it, but it might take a smaller screwdriver. And unplug the fan from it. And you can basically set that aside. So the new fan comes with its own screws. And 
we'll attach the fan first. There is a notch up here for the wiring. And there is not an arrow of airflow, but you can pretty much guess that uh, if the original fan had the um, struts or support for the motor fan on the outside, then that's the way this is going to go. So it's not like that, but it's like this. And I actually forget how that goes. I don't work with computer fans that much. Like what the airflow direction is. So those screws will take a number one or to uh, yeah number two screwdriver. I wouldn't over tighten them too much. Let's see, then we can bolt the PCB back on. Takes a fair amount of force since you're starting new threads there. And slide that back into place. Let's see, <clears throat> I have an excess of wire here, but you can plug in your GameCube, then plug in the fan to the power PCB, and I believe you can route most of the excess down around the front, and route the black and red back in there, and plug that back in. Back panel back on. Uh, now would be a good time just to plug it in, make sure it still works. And you can see the fan is going. Okay. Throw our top back on. Now you'll see or hear me talk about this quite often. I like to go in reverse until I hear that click. That way I know that I'm not starting new threads because most of these consoles are plastic bosses and you're constantly starting new threads into those posts. You're just going to strip them. Now I've said this before, but you won't always get an audible click. Maybe you'll just feel it. And that's good enough. That's way how you know. So, new fan is in. And I will plug in the video for proof. GameCube is working. I do hear the fan. And now I will put it up just like I did the other fan. Or 
here you go. Now, how do we backlight that fan and make it look cool? <laughs> I actually don't think that I have any UV LEDs on hand that I can think of. I rarely use them. If I really wanted to, I could track one down, but I'll do a different video if that ever happens, and it's amazing, and I want to show it off. But... I thought it might be nice to go ahead and show off the other colors that uh, that we have available. Of course, black being one of the more common ones. And I mean, honestly, I have, I see just a just an outline of the print. Mostly, I see the fan, but I'll give you an idea what they look like. There's a good view of what the original black fan and plastic looks like in there. So that's what it looks like with the new fan and the orange plastics. And as you can tell, <laughs> not a huge difference. Top piece. I believe an original fan. So Here's your new fan and silver plastics. Makes almost no difference to have the silver. Original fan, black plastic. You can see the purple does not match. And I don't know if this one's got sun exposure or if that's normal violet color. Just, uh, just the first one I grabbed. <laughs> God! Look at that awfulness. Ugh. So you can kind of see the purple in there, the new purple plastic, but for the most part, not really. Mostly you're just seeing the fan. So, in my opinion, total waste of time to have color options. And it just complicates the sale page, etc., etc. So. I'm going to sell black only.